This is a general form of a Runge-Cutter method to solve a first order ODE in the form y dash is equal to some function f of the single variable t and a function of that variable y. If yn is a current known value of y, we calculate the value of y in one step time, which is yn plus 1, by adding a weighted sum of k values. These k values in turn are calculated by substituting different values for t and y into the function f. We can expand on the expressions for yn plus 1 and ki by evaluating the summations. So here we have b1 times k1 plus b2 times k2 etc up to bs times ks. The values of k1, k2 etc are known as the stages of the Runge-Cutter method. Here we have a method with s stages. In practice, s will depend upon the accuracy and type of method used. The values of A, B and C highlighted here are what defines the Runge-Cutter method. The values of these are computed by comparing the Taylor series expansion of the Runge-Cutter method with the Taylor series expansion of y dash equals f of ty, but that's a story for another video. An easy way to express the values of A, B and C is to arrange them in tabular form known as a butcher tableau. Here we have four regions. The upper right region is where we write the A values, the C values are written in the upper left region and the B values are written in the lower right region. Looking at the expressions for K1, K2 up to Ks, we note that the value of K1 is included in the right hand side of the expression for K1 and similar for K2 up to Ks. So as it stands, here the stage values are implicit relationships. So a Runge-Cutter method in this form is known as an implicit Runge-Cutter method or IRK for short. The other type of Runge-Cutter method is known as an explicit Runge-Cutter method, or ERK for short. Here we have the general form of an ERK method which looks very similar to the one for an IRK which we saw just now. However, the summation in the expression with Ki only includes K values up to I-1. Also, the values of C1 and A11 are both zero. Expanding the summations again, we see the expression for YN plus 1 is the same as an IRK method but the expressions for k1, k2, etc. are now explicit relations. In other words, k1 no longer appears on the right-hand side of the expression for k1 and similar for the others. We can write the values of a, b and c of an ERK method in a butcher tableau in the same way as before. Comparing to that of the butcher tableau for an IRK method, we see that the obvious difference is that the ERK butcher tableau only has values for a in the lower triangular region. Explicit Runge-Cutter methods are much easier to compute and tend to be more common than implicit Runge-Cutter methods. However, implicit Runge-Cutter methods can be used to solve stiff systems, whereas an explicit method may struggle. This is a subject for another video. The most commonly used Runge-Cutter method is the fourth order explicit Runge-Cutter method, or RK4 for short. To show how the RK4 method is implemented, we're going to use it to solve a simple initial value problem. Here we have the first order ODE, y dash equals t plus y, which is to be solved over the domain of t between 0 and 1 with an initial value of y being 1. The step length h chosen here is 0.2, so starting at t equals 0, it will take a total of 5 steps to reach t equals 1. The initial values of t0 and y0 are 0 and 1 respectively as specified in the initial value problem. These, along with h, are substituted in the expressions for k1 to k4 which are in, then in turn used to calculate y1. The value of t1 is simply t0 plus h. The new values of y1 and t1 are then used to calculate y2 and t2 and so on until y5 and t5. For this simple problem there is an exact solution which is plotted over the domain used here. Adding our numerical solution obtained using the RK4 method shows that the two methods agree. Remember, for most practical problems it is not possible to determine exact solution using analytical methods so we must use a numerical approach. Mm -hmm. 